Hey guys, welcome to another episode of FitChef.TV. One of the most frequent questions I get from you guys, my viewers and clients, is in a day's life, what does the Fit Chef eat? So I'm gonna tell you guys what I eat every single day for breakfast, and sometimes I incorporate into my snacks, my lunches, and my dinner. Um, it's one really great thing to get me over my sweet tooth fixation, and it is absolutely one of my favorite dishes. It's extremely fast. I have all of this in my car, in my, um, my, my survival kit, so if I am off on a road trip and I need to stop somewhere, I can make this actually at a gas station just using their microwave. So this is definitely something great that you can also keep in your car. So let me show you what I got going on. All right, every morning I get my old fashioned oatmeal here. You do not want to get your quick one minute oats. You want to go with your old fashioned oats because they haven't been broke down and processed, okay? And they're super high in fiber. I take one third cup of the old fashioned oats and I put it into a microwave safe bowl and I just add enough water just to get my oats floating. I like to have my, um, Oh, it's not super, super wet because I'm going to actually add a little bit of an unsweetened almond breeze, okay? So as you can see, my oats have been cooking for three minutes in the microwave. Please do be careful. Sometimes your oatmeal will over uh, fill if your bowl is not, is not large enough. So make sure that you put them in a large enough bowl so that it will not overflow and put it in there for three minutes with your water. I also add a half of a tablespoon of natural jib peanut butter. There's all different great sources of peanut butter out there. One of my favorites is the natural jiff. So I put a half of a tablespoon right in with my oatmeal and my water so that way my peanut butter gets warmed and kind of melts down while I put it into the microwave. When I take it out, I am going to use my one of my favorite um, protein powders, which is the vanilla caramel swirl. This is my all-time favorite when I'm making this. I don't use this in my, my protein shakes that I drink. I just use it in my porridge. And then another uh, favorite with our clients is the cinnamon bun um, protein powder as well. If you use this, it really has a great flavor of an actual cinnamon, okay? But I like the vanilla caramel swirl. And I actually just pour my protein right into a container dish. And so it's just easy access. I'm not sitting there searching for my scoop. I'm gonna do one scoop. I'm gonna add that right to my cooked protein powder with my um, peanut butter. So I've got my carbs, which are my oatmeal. I've got my fat, which is my peanut butter. I have put in my protein powder for my protein. I also am going to add my collagen, which um, I addressed to you guys how important collagen is earlier in the week on my blog post. So I definitely recommend getting some collagen and it's um, completely flavorless. You can put this in your protein shakes. But like I said, I eat this every morning, so I put this in my breakfast, so that way I know that I don't forget it throughout the day. And then I'm going to take my unsweetened almond breeze, which has no sugars, and I'm going to put this in there to really loosen it up and, and give that just that little extra flavor. Um, make sure when you are buying your, your almond breeze, you are buying the unsweetened version. If you are just getting the original flavor of almond breeze, it will have lots of sugar in it. So make sure you are buying unsweetened. And I just go ahead and I put just a little bit in there. And so I, so it's a little bit wet, so that way I know that I can mix it up. And I just take a spoon, and I just mix it all up until all of my protein and powder and my collagen is completely dispersed throughout my oatmeal and my peanut butter is all mixed in as well. The great thing about this oatmeal is that because it isn't processed and broke down, it's complete. It's just extremely fibrous, which is extremely filling. And I just eat it just like that and that's exactly what it looks like it's super yummy super filling and it has complete sources of protein carbs and fat and it literally takes me three and a half minutes to make and I like I said I can keep all of these ingredients in my car so that way if I'm in a dire need of needing something healthy to eat I can just stop at a gas station pop it in the microwave and I know that I'm not going to be like self-sabotaging myself by doing a drive-through one other little quick note is sometimes for a little added flavor, I will take just a little bit of the oatmeal out and I'll add just a little tiny bit of a banana just for the carb ratio and just to give a little extra zing and zang and flavor. So definitely check it out. Leave a comment down below and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks guys.